Hey YouTube, it's Big Case Man again. Um, I'm on the on the making here of a bunch of CB videos. Um, I don't know how many of them I actually get. I will get posted or not, but um, I wanted to make another one here of my other base station that I really like and I use a lot, and uh, it's another Robin. So um, I'm fixing to show it to you. All right, now here it is. It's got the clock built in and everything. Um, I'm just running this here in it. Now what this base station is, I'm not sure how many of you know or if you've heard of it. But this right here was a base station that Robin made where you could slide your mobile unit into it like a cassette. And then when you're not using it, a little drawer comes down and it just says Robin CB Transceiver Base Station. So it's a really nice unit because back in the 70s and 80s when all of the CBs and everything were were super super expensive um, you know people could not afford to be having a real nice radio in their car as well as you know a big expensive base station so um, Robin came up with this and it's a very very smart design because um, you know it looks nice it, you know some people would just use their mobiles and stuff and bring it inside and hook it up and there's nothing wrong with that that works fine but this just kinda dresses it up a little bit and gives it more of a professional look to it. So, anyway, um, it's just a Robin SX102B that I got in there. It's just a 23 channel, but I really like this radio. It has the bone-in SWR and everything with BFO, intercom, and PA. Um, like I said, it's a really, really good radio, and um, the mic that they use is just a simple Robin mic with the dynamic on the side and everything. So, uh, Yep, it's got a built-in clock, and basically what it is is on the back of the radio, you have your uh, plug that plugs into the wall, and then there's another wire that comes out, and it's already got the connection that the back of your 12-volt radio takes, and all you got to do is plug it in. So anyway, I got my other Robin set up here, and we're going to do some transmission and receiving tests so you guys can hear how it sounds. So first we'll do a transmitting one. Back one nine for a radio check. Testing the Robin CB. Test one two. Test one two. There, uh, there you go. Um, you can see that it uh, transmits like it should and everything. So um, we're gonna do a receiving test now with my other Robin here, my Yellow Bird T240D. Here we go. Test one two. Test the nine. Robin cassette style base station. One, two for YouTube. Yep. Okay. And there you go, boys. Um, we got her going, and uh, like I said, it was really nice. Um, uh, I guess now, if you want to, well, you guys ain't gonna answer because you're in a video, but um, I'm gonna show you how it works because it's a pretty, pretty cool design. So let me take some stuff off here, my GTOs. Alright, now here we go. So when you flip it around and you're looking at the back of the unit, this is what you're looking at. You got your standard coax right here. Let me turn the radio off. Okay, we got your standard coax antenna here that you just unplug. Here's the thumb screw. Now this thumb screw is the same one you would use on your mobile mount on the side. And then you just got your other plug here and just like that you're ready to pull your radio out and put it in your car so uh, you just bring it out like a cassette and when it's out it says Robin CB transceiver base module S610 and there you go um, like I said any of the old style base or well not base but mobile Robin CBs would slide into here. I actually got one right here. Heck I can slide it in to show you. This one here is a Robin SX4020 40 channel. Once again it's got the wood grain and it matches the unit real nice and if you want to use that one you just slide it in like you would a cassette and there you have a different one. So, um, hope you guys like that. I don't know if you guys have seen anything like that or not, but 
pretty cool. So, thanks for watching. Bye.